Jack, a couple weeks ago, we spoke about the Oscar buzz surrounding the short film, The Sweetest Girl. Today, we talked to the director about the importance of this film, which was shot right here in South Florida. I don't keep secrets from you, Margaret. It's affecting our marriage, Lucian. It's an exciting time. Um, it's, it's, it's heartwarming because it's, this film isn't about me. Right? It's about the, the, it's really about the next generation of Haitian, young Haitian Americans seeing themselves on screen in a different way. Right? Seeing themselves as, as, as human beings and not that, that narrative of poverty and, and things like that. And so that is, that's exciting to hear. It's actually interesting that you said that because I, there was a TikToker that made a video and he was saying how he is upset with movie directors and how they constantly portray black men and women in this world that he wants to see them in a different light and it started a conversation of how we obviously know representation matters but also how you see yourself in the screen is is a big thing it affects you it does it, it affected my mental health as a child so much so like i grew up born in haiti grew up in brooklyn new york at five years old i experienced xenophobia uh where they said haitian haitian go back to your nation seven my sunday school teacher was shot and killed at nine i survived a barbershop shooting and then in philadelphia my red carpet uh, welcome was red tip crack bottles that all affected my mental health and then watching on news where i was told i was going to die before 21 but change was why Clef Jean? He, he sang in my church and then he became a Fuji and became intentional about representation. So that reminded me to rem remember that it's in our DNA. It's in our soil to, to, to bounce back from people seeing us as something that we're not, you know, and to inspire others. So this film is really um, a love letter of hope to him uh, and his family. I feel like you're holding something back from me. There's something you're not telling me. And do you think that your film is actually going to do that for the viewers? Say, give them that sense of hope? And how, most importantly? Well, I believe it will. They, there's a hunger for, uh, for representation. Let's th think about the late Chadwick Boseman. We shot our film last summer in the middle of pandemic, which was just bananas. <laughs> and he unfortunately passed away on August 28th, which was the second day of our, our, of our shoot. Oh my goodness, I cried, Johanna, like a baby, because it felt like he was passing the baton to us to pass it to the next generation, to tell us that we all have stories to tell, to, uh, to, to inspire others to tell authentic stories of hope, love, and redemption. Yanata, what is it that you want from the South Florida community? To tell our stories, to tell our stories, to, to, to tell our authentic stories, and to inspire, our, to rem remember who we are. And, and to inspire the next generation.